32 Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Facts Every Owner Should Know. Number 1. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, or the Grosserschweizer Zennenhund, also known as the Swissie, is a large-sized dog. Males usually stand about 25.5 to 28.5 inches tall, while females are slightly smaller at around 23.5 to 27 inches. In terms of weight, there's no exact standard, but males often range from 90 to 140 pounds, and females 80 to 110 pounds. Number 2. This breed boasts a luxurious double coat. The top coat can be short, straight, and fine, or longer, wavier, and coarser. The undercoat is thick and comes in various shades of dark gray, light gray, or tawny. It should be on the neck, but can also be all over the body. Number 3. The breed displays various coat colorations. The standard is a mix of black, white, and rust. Other acceptable variations include the blue tricolor, where blue replaces black, and tan stands in for rust, and the rust bicolor, which features solid rust with white markings but no black. Number 4. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog has an endearing and gentle look in its head with almond-shaped eyes, preferably dark brown and medium-sized triangular ears that nicely frame the head. The skull is wide and flat with a slight stop while the muzzle is strong, blunt and completely straight. The nose is always black and the lips keep a tidy, dry appearance. Number 5. With a moderately long, strong and muscular neck, this dog boasts a level top line from the withers to the broad, smoothly rounded croup. Its chest is deep and wide housing well-sprung ribs and a slightly protruding breastbone showcasing a robust physique. Number 6. As per the American Kennel Club standards, any greater Swiss Mountain Dog may face disqualification if their coat colors don't align with the specified black, red, and white tricolor, such as blue charcoal or red and white. Dogs with blue eyes can also be penalized. Number 7. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is one of the four Zennenhund dogs originating from Switzerland. It's part of a group that includes the Bernese Mountain Dog, the Appenzeller Zennenhund, and the Antlerbuscher Mountain Dog. Among these, the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is regarded as the oldest and largest breed. Number 8. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is highly intelligent, but can also display a strong-willed and independent nature. Because they were bred as independent thinkers, they may occasionally be stubborn, leading to moments where they might not readily respond to your commands. Number 9. These devoted canines possess a built-in protective instinct, making them superb watchdogs. They demonstrate unwavering loyalty to their loved ones and frequently vocalize to signal potential dangers to their owners. Number 10. Swissies, similar to many large breeds, experience rapid growth between 4 and 7 months, which can lead to potential bone disorders and injuries if not cared properly. Their bones and joints, however, are not fully formed until about 2 years old. To prevent problems, it's important not to let your Swissie pup engage in strenuous activities on hard surfaces like pavement during this period. Number 11. Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs can differ in their prey drive levels. Some may exhibit a stronger drive, chasing smaller animals like squirrels and cats, while others may be more relaxed and inclined to lounge around. In either case, you gotta keep them leashed during walks and place them in a securely fenced area when left unsupervised outside. Number 12. The Swissie's innate strength and a natural puller enables them to handle loads exceeding 3,000 pounds. For this reason, early leash training is crucial to prevent being dragged around. Number 13. The breed's thick coat is ideal for cold climates, allowing them to play in the snow without concerns. However, they're susceptible to heat stroke, so you should not let them strenuously exercise in hot weather. Opt for cool early morning or evening outings. Keep them indoors with fans or air conditioning during the day and provide shade and ample water if they must be outside. Number 14. These large-sized dogs typically live between 8 and 11 years, which is relatively long for their size. While larger dogs often face more health issues and shorter lifespans, the Swissy experiences fewer problems compared to other breeds of similar size. Number 15. Similar to any other dog, the Greater Swiss can be susceptible to a few health concerns. These may include hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, osteochondrosis desiccans, patelloluxation, progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, dystichiasis, entropion, and panosteitis. Number 16. The breed can also be prone to a condition called lick fit, where the dog excessively licks various objects like carpet, floors, walls, grass, and leaves, leading to significant gastrointestinal discomfort. In a 2019 article by the Greater Swiss Mountain Club of America, it was reported that this condition had affected 17% of the breed. 
Number 17. Swissies with their deep chests are prone to bloat, a serious condition where their stomach fills with air and twists. This is one of the major causes of mortality among large-sized dogs like the Swissie. They're also susceptible to splenic torsion, where the spleen twists, leading to swelling and blood engorgement. Immediate veterinary attention is important to prevent fatality in both conditions. Number 18. These dogs can also be prone to urinary incontinence, a non-life-threatening condition where they involuntarily leak urine while sleeping. As per the 2019 article by the Greater Swiss Mountain Club of America, over 20% of females were affected, commonly occurring after being spayed. Number 19. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is one of Switzerland's oldest dog breeds. There are various theories about their origins, with the most widespread suggesting they descended from large mastiff-like dogs brought to the Alps by invading Roman legions. Number 20. Throughout history, these dogs had roles as draft animals, guard dogs, and drovers' dogs. Their versatility and strength made them highly prized, serving as valuable assets on Swiss farms and in various trades. They were once dubbed the poor man's horse due to their substantial workload akin to the tasks horses were relied upon to perform. Number 21. These dogs were specifically bred to excel in various tasks like carrying heavy loads, guarding properties, and serving as dependable watchdogs and companions. Their strength and agility were particularly vital in mountainous regions, where they became skilled as butcher dogs and indispensable farm helpers. Number 22. By the late 19th century, the breed started to decline in popularity among dog enthusiasts. This decline was mainly due to the emergence of alternative breeds and the advancement of modern machinery. It was believed that the breed had nearly vanished during that period, leading it to the brink of extinction. Number 23. In 1908, during the Swiss Kennel Club's 25th anniversary, geology professor Albert Heim observed two short-haired Bernese mountain dogs presented by Franz Schertenleb. He recognized them as significant members of the Zeninhund family to which the Swissie belongs, linking them to the old, vanishing large mountain dog breed once widespread across Europe. Number 24. At a show in Langetal, Switzerland in 1908, a dog named Bellovom Schlossgut played a crucial role in establishing the breed's initial standard. Presented by the breeder Franz Schertenleb, Bello set the first standard for the Grosser Schleiser Zeninhund breed under the guidance of Albert Heim. At that time, the breed had a stockier and rougher appearance compared to today's Swissy. Number 25. In 1909, Heim and dedicated breeders successfully re-established a unique breed, leading to its recognition as a distinct entity by the Swiss Kennel Club. This significant achievement was solidified in 1912 with the formation of a dedicated breed club, effectively saving this remarkable dog from extinction. Number 26. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog experienced gradual growth in the early 20th century. Their strength was put to use during the Second World War when the Swiss Army employed them as draft dogs. In 1945, over 100 puppies were registered, suggesting there were approximately 350 to 400 dogs of this breed at that time. Number 27. Internationally recognized in 1939 through the Swiss standard by the Fédération Sinologique Internationale, the breed made its way to the U.S. in 1968. By 1983, the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Club of America registry included 257 dogs, leading to their entry into the American Kennel Club Miscellaneous Group in 1985. And in July 1995, the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog achieved full recognition in the AKC Working Group. Number 28, ranked at number 83 out of 199 breeds in the 2022 American Kennel Club popularity list, this robust and dependable canine rightfully holds its place, highlighting its enduring charm and appeal among dog enthusiasts. Number 29, pricing for a puppy from the Swiss Mountain breed can vary widely, influenced by factors such as the breeder's reputation, the pup's lineage, pedigree, health evaluations, and your location. Generally, a puppy from a reputable breeder in this category might range from $1,500 to $3,000. Number 30. Originally bred to herd cattle, pull carts, and function as watchdogs, these powerful and vigilant dogs thrive when they have a job to do. They excel in various dog sports like obedience, agility, and confirmation competitions. They also perform admirably in drafting, weight pulling, herding, pack hiking, and showcasing their overall versatility. Number 31. Several greater Swiss mountain dogs have gained media attention. For instance, Network, a Swissie owned by Sun Microsystems CEO Scott McNeely, served as their mascot. 
and Mouse, a greater Swiss Mountain Dog residing in Austin, Texas, took on the role of the mascot for Keep Austin Dog Friendly. Number 32, Oscar the Grouch, a greater Swiss Mountain Dog, made the front page of the Wall Street Journal as he prepared for the Westminster Dog Show. He achieved his championship in just three months and became a grand champion before the age of two, all before competing at Westminster. Alright guys, and which of these Swissy facts intrigued you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.